Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I want to talk to you about a new tool we have coming out. Now, we haven't named it yet. Right now, it's in beta. Um, I'm going to put the link down below so you can go and sign up for the beta and try it out yourself. Um, but right now, it's being called Figleaf. Um, but what is it? It's a data masking tool. It's a, it's a way to hide things, you know, Figleaf. And um, what we're doing is we've got this whole masking tool to help you with compliance in your non-production environments. Masking the data in order to uh, hide it, but still have production-like data in your non-production environments. That's the idea. And we've got this tool. It does it for you. It's got some automation to it. Um, it's doing some cool stuff. Let's take a look at it and try it out. All right, so this is Figleaf as it's currently configured. And um, you can start a new masking plan or open an existing plan. Um, we've also got a little chat window down here. We'll ask you questions and stuff. It's a fee. It, it is, this is a beta. Um, we are going to request some feedback from you. You don't have to give it, but, but it, you will see that pop up every once in a while with little questions. Let's start a new masking plan. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and connect up to my local database. I'm going to use Windows Authentication. And I've got a copy uh, I created using um, SQL clone um, of AdventureWorks. Uh, I called it Fig Leaf Test. And so um, it's, you know, a nice, easy, ready, readily available copy of AdventureWorks. So hit continue. And what it's done is it's gone out there and it's pulled in all of my information. And so now it knows all the tables in the database, the schemas, all that fun stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask. Not hard. Um, the kind of mask we want to add, we can do all kinds of different things. But let's go down here to um, person. Nice, easy place to start. By selecting the table, it scrolls it over to where that table is. And you can scroll around the list manually if you choose. Um, or you can also go down here and say pick a column, and it will go to where that column is. Um, if you pick a table, say person phone, it will then go to where that table is. So we can pick whatever we want to look at. So I'm going to look at first name to start with. I'm going to select that column. Now it gets added up here. We've also got middle name and last name. What I want to do is I'm going to actually add the middle name along with the first name. And now I'm going to hit next. The little wizard to walk you through stuff. And there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do things. There's build your own mask. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, null, replace all values with null, so you can just null out the, the data. Um, random numbers, random strings, all kinds of random stuff, but then you start noticing random address, random phone number, and in my case, random first name. So it's going to go through the whole thing and replace all of the names with a random first name. Now hit next, and it does have settings. And so if there were, you know, if we wanted to, we can make them all lowercase, we can make them all uppercase, or we can just leave them as is, and it will you know, maintain this stuff. Um, if there were relationships between the tables, they, you could maintain relationships, and if it, and if it was cross tables up here, uh, you can do that as well. Now, I don't. this is a very simple example. Um, I'm using first name to fill in first names, and I'm using first name to fill in middle names. Um, it's pretty common for middle names to be first names, so I figured it was just a great way to do it. And so I'm going to add that to my masking plan. And so now there's a mask. Um, it's on my masking plan. Great. So now I can add another mask. Now it's still on the same table that we selected before. And so we could add, say, last name, for example. And then we scroll down. And sure enough, there is a random last name. So we have that as well. And it shows you all the names that it has. And again, we can modify the masking and, and off it goes. That's pretty cool. Now, what if we want to add a custom mask? Now, right now, it's fairly simplistic. Let's say we wanted to add a mask to, um, which column would we want? Let's see. Let's add it to additional contact info. No, that's XML data. We don't want to do that. Let's... Um, Let's update title. Let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to update title. So we select that, hit next, build our own mask, hit next, 
And then what we can do is, is you can fill in stuff. And so you can say like, you know, title will be, um, you know, letters and then period. And so you don't get Ms. and Mr. You get was and ought and dia. Um, and we can set the number of the length we want. So if we want to keep it to, to, to two, oops, to two, we could. Um, there is a constant in there, which is the period. And so we can add this now to our masking plan and it will also update those. So it will hide everything about that person between these three things. Um, and so if we click on mask database, see what happens. And it's going through and it's making changes to the data. And yeah, it had to pass through the 19,000 rows twice because it's it's updating one column, uh, the first two columns, then the next column. And so it's running each mask independently. Um, and so it's gonna pass through the data multiple times. Um, again, we're interested in feedback. If there's anything you wanna see here, uh, let us know and uh, we'll put it in. But regardless, this is just a run through, give you guys an idea what it's doing, how it's doing it, and um, the kind of stuff that we you know that we're seeing here. And so this took you know a little less than a minute to complete. Um, it ran the three masks that I have here, and it's all good. Now I can um, save this masking plan. And so if I save it, hang on, let me give it a name. We'll call it um, video demo, and hit save. There we go, we saved that. Now, if we were to go back home, we can open masking plans. And so we can say, oh, well, video demo, we wanna open the video demo one. Well, we can run it against the same database or we could run it against different databases. So I could run this against AdventureWorks 2017 or some other copy of the database. Um, again, I'm just gonna go back to the same fig leaf test because I've got it set up for, for testing so I don't break anything important. Um, and so it again looks through and finds all the stuff and then it's ready to go again and I can start adding masks and you see how it works. It continues from there. That's it for now. Um, we're going to be developing this over time. This is just, you know, an, an early beta, an initial look at it, an initial look at what we're doing, and we will be doing more with it. So just to give you an idea of what's going on, you've now seen it. And um, keep an eye on the space. We'll, I'll release more videos as we make changes and update it and uh, it gets exciting and, and bigger. Um, so thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.